LaunchBox 7.0 is here. Hi, my name is Brad, and today on Unbroken Software Studio Tutorials, I'll show you how to use the Scan for Added and Scan for Removed ROMs feature that was recently added in LaunchBox 7. So let's head on over into LaunchBox, and there are a couple of things that we need to make sure are set up in order for this feature to work. So let's go to Tools, Manage Platforms. I'm going to be using the NES as an example, so let's scroll on down to the Nintendo Entertainment System. We're going to double click on its entry. We're going to go to the Folders tab, and where it says Game, we're going to click on Browse. And we're going to navigate to where we have our ROMs downloaded. So as you can see here, I have it under my, my S drive, but because LaunchBox and my ROMs are on the same drive, it's using a relative path instead of an absolute path. If you have your ROMs on a different drive, separate from LaunchBox, you'll see an absolute path, which you'll notice will have a drive letter. Now also, if you import your ROMs into LaunchBox and you let LaunchBox move your games, then you actually don't even really need to change your game path. The folder path will be there at its regular default. So there is a games folder in the LaunchBox folder. Inside of there, we'll have all your, your system folders. And inside of there, if you move your, your games, will be your ROM files. So if you let LaunchBox manage your ROMs and you keep them in the default launch box location, you don't need to change this game path. However, if you're like me and you prefer your games to be in their own separate location, then you will need to come in here and browse to where they are located. As well, sometimes I do like to keep games into different folders, so I'll keep, uh, well, NES ROM hacks into one folder and regular NES games into another folder and you can't scan multiple folders like that and and have it work but what you can do is for example create like a ROMs folder put the NES hacks folder and your regular NES ROMs into there scan just the root ROMs folder and it should nab everything in the subfolders so if you also are one of the users who would separate their games by region, you have your NES ROMs, and in there you have Japanese, European, and North American ROMs. As long as you make the folder path the root folder, it also scans any subfolders as well. It's also worth noting that this process really only works for ROM files and main games. It will also work for CD-based systems, but unfortunately platforms like Steam and Windows or anything where you have multiple files like DOS uh, don't really work currently in this process. We are trying to figure out a way for it to work with those systems, but currently it only works with ROM files, single files like Q sheets or .NES files and things of that nature. So now that we have our folders set, I'm gonna go over into my NES folder and I've got all of these games highlighted, several of them hacks. Another one is 1942, a pretty common and fun game. So I'm gonna move these into my ROMs folder. So now I've got several new games that I want to get scanned into LaunchBox. So back in LaunchBox, let's go to Tools, Scan for Added ROMs, and since I have clicked on the Nintendo Entertainment System platform specifically in the left-hand corner of my screen, this option, Scan for Added ROMs for the Nintendo Entertainment System, is lit up. So I'm going to click on this button. At the bottom there, you can see that it's starting to scan for any additional ROMs, and it does this mainly by checking the ROM file name. So Windows wouldn't let you put the same game in there with the same name anyways. Uh, so LaunchBox only takes note of the differences in names, sees if there's anything out of place or anything new rather, and then goes from there. Once that is done, the import wizard will pop up like it normally would, but just several screens in so that we're going to make sure that the LaunchBox Games Database box is checked. We're going to download all the metadata and media from the LaunchBox Games Database. It's going to log you into Emu Movies, and I'm going to leave all these boxes checked. We're going to click Next, and here we can see all of my files. So, uh, if you come to the screen and you see a couple of files that shouldn't be there, what you can do, for example, this 
BSV file extension and the state one file extension should not be there. So I'm going to click on the BSV file extension and I'm going to click delete. I'm going to click on the state one file extension and then I'm going to click delete as well. So now it will not import these files. These are the files that I do want to add now. So we are going to click finish. And now it's going to run through all my games. It's going to download any of the metadata that is available and it's going to populate LaunchBox like you normally would if you were just doing a regular import. So eight games were successfully imported. So now let's head on back over to our NES folder. I'm going to head on over into my ROMs folder. I'm going to take back out the 1942 ROM. I'm going to go back into LaunchBox. We're going to go to Tools scan for removed ROMs and we're going to scan for the Nintendo Entertainment System as well. It's going to scan, it's going to see that 1942 is missing and I'm going to go ahead and click yes to remove the game from LaunchBox. Now currently the process doesn't remove any media that uh, would be associated with the game so that's still something that you're going to have to do manually. However, I do know that Jason wants to uh, eventually update so that every process where you would remove a ROM would also remove all of the available uh, images and media as well. But in order to remove images for a game that had them, but you no longer have the game, go up to tools, clean up images, click on it, run through the wizard, and then it's going to you know, take its time. It's going to scan through your entire library, see if there are any images not associated to games anymore, and it's going to clean those images so that you can free up some space on your hard drive. So that was it. It was a fairly simple tutorial for today. That is how you use the scan for added and scan for removed ROMs inside of LaunchBox. My name is Brad. I do lots of gaming content, so if that sounds like your cup of tea, the link to my channel is in the description below. If you are a Patreon producer, then your name is now on screen. Thank you very much to anyone who pledges at the producer level role to get their name on the video and inside of LaunchBox. Your support severely helps us. If you'd like to get your name on screen now or inside of LaunchBox, then head on over to the Patreon link in the description below. At just $2 a month, you get early access to some of our content, and at higher tiers, you start to unlock access to the private Discord server, producer-level credits, and a personal hangout with the LaunchBox team. So if you'd like to help us out, head on over. We would greatly appreciate it. Remember, Freaks and Geeks, to play more games, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Thank you.